Shalom, beloved. May Father bless you and deliver you from the evil one. And may his goodness and favor be with you in the name of Jesus. May those who are lukewarm repent and return to the Heavenly Father and serve him passionately. And the same is my prayer for the lost who do not know the Lord yet. Thank you, Lord. When you are in distress and all these things have come upon you in the latter days, you will return to the Lord your God and listen to his voice. That's from Deuteronomy 4 verse 30. Reading the parable of the prodigal son. Then Jesus said, Once there was a father with two sons. The younger son came to his father and said, Father, don't you think it's time to give me the share of your estate that belongs to me? So the, fa so the father went ahead and distributed among the two sons their inheritance. Shortly afterward, the younger son packed up all his belongings and traveled off to see the world. He journeyed to a far-off land where he soon wasted all he was given in a binge of extravagant and reckless living. With everything spent and nothing left, he grew hungry, for there was a severe famine in that land. So he begged a farmer in that country to hire him. The farmer hired him and sent him out to feed the pigs. The son was so famished he was willing to even eat the slop given to the pigs, because no one would, lead, would feed him a thing. Humiliated, the son finally realized what he was doing, and he thought, There are many workers at my father's house who have all the food they want with plenty to, sh to spare. They lack nothing. Why am I here dying of hunger, feeding these pigs and eating their slop? I want to go back home to my father's house, and I'll say to him, Father, I was wrong. I have sinned against you. I'll never be worthy to be called your son. Please, Father, just treat me like one of your employees. So the young son set off for home. From a long distance away, his father saw him coming, dressed as a beggar, and great compassion swelled up in his heart for his son who was returning home. So the father raced out to meet him, wept him up in his arms, hugged him dearly, and kissed him over and over with tender love. Then the son said, Father, I was wrong. I have sinned against you. I could never deserve to be called your son. Just let me be. The father, in father interrupted. The father interrupted and said, Son, you're home now. Turning to his servants, the father said, Quick, bring me the best robe, my very own robe, and I will place it on his shoulder. Bring the ring, the seal of sonship, and I will put it on his finger, and bring out the best shoes you can find for my son. Let's prepare a great feast and celebrate. For this beloved son of mine was once dead, but now he is alive again. Once he was lost, but now he is found. And everyone celebrated with overflowing joy. Now the oldest son was out working in the field when his brother re returned, and as he approached the house he heard the music of celebration and dancing. So he called over one of the servants and asked what's going on. The servant replied, it's your younger brother, he's returned home and your father is throwing a party to celebrate his homecoming. The oldest son became angry and refused to go in and celebrate. So his father came out and pleaded with him, come and enjoy the feast with us. The son said, Father, listen, how many years have I been working like a slave for you, performing every duty you've asked as a faithful son, and I've never once disobeyed you, but you've never thrown a party for me because of my faithfulness. Never once have you even given me a goat that I could feast on and celebrate with my friends like he's doing now. But look at this son of yours. He comes back after wasting your wealth on prostitutes and reckless living, and here you are throwing a great feast to celebrate for him. The father said, My son, you are always with me by my side. Everything I have is yours to enjoy. It's only right to celebrate like this and be overjoyed because this brother of yours was once dead and gone, but now he is alive and back with us again. He was lost, but now he is found. This is from the Passion Translation in Luke 15, verse 11 to 32. May the Lord speak to your hearts. May this message speak to your hearts. And if you are lukewarm in your walk with the Lord, may you come back to Him with a passion. And for those who do not know the Lord, may you repent of your sins and come to Jesus, because He loves you very much. God bless you.